Hi, my name's Suzanne Harper. I'm the writer of the Feng Shui Wealth Guide and I'm going to talk to you today about different aspects of Feng Shui and show you how easy it is to make simple changes that attract more positive circumstances into your life. Hi, my name's Suzanne Harper and I'm going to talk to you about how to use feng shui candles. Basically, any candle can be a feng shui candle. You're basically talking about adding the element of fire to a particular area. Why would you want to do that? You want to do that to create an emphasis, either to enhance the romance in your life, to improve your health. Maybe you want to put candles in the fame area. And maybe you just need inspiration. This is what the element of fire actually brings. It brings inspiration. One little caveat here, you don't need the element of fire in the Shachi area, which is the southwest this year and the east next year after the 3rd of February. You need to know why you're using the candles. If the candles are for romance, you want them in the far right-hand area of your home or the far right-hand area of your bedroom. You also can pick the area when you know what your qua number is. There are many places on the web where you can find your qua number. This depends on your year of birth. Candles in what's called the Qian Yi area, or your general good health and good fortune direction, will enhance your health. In terms of fame, you want to put the candles in the south of your home, in the south of your living room, or in the far center wall of your home. Again, with candles, make sure that they're covered underneath, that they're protected, and always make sure that you blow them out. If you're using them as a cure, remember that they need to burn for three hours continuously for them to have an effect on the area that you're choosing. Health, wealth, and happiness. If you'd like any further information and to find your Qua number, please log on to the fengshuiwealthguide.com.